Greetings. Today is Friday, March 20th, 2020. There's got to be something very significant about that, don't you think? Look, I want to share just a couple of things with you real quickly that I probably will not have an opportunity to get into on Sunday when we do Facebook Live. But um, I wanted to mention a, a series of videos that are, can be found on YouTube that John Paul Jackson did uh, a number of years ago on the perfect storm. The Lord showed him through a series of dreams, I believe, what was going to happen to our nation and even to our world, but especially, especially to this nation, if we did not return to our biblical roots. Because he said, you know, God, uh, when we continue to defy and rebel against God's uh, laws, that God begins to lift his hand off of us and he begins to back away and we begin to experience natural consequences of the choices that we've made. We've, we, you know, we've rebelled. And I, I believe that is partly what we're experiencing right now. I kept hearing at the first of the year that there was going to be a reset. And in order to be a re, uh, you know, the Holy Spirit was speaking to me about a reset and then restoration. And I believe that, um, in order to have restoration, there has to be a tearing out of some things that are, um, uh, very perverse and very crooked in the foundations even of our nation. I pray that it's not too late, but I want to recommend that you go to YouTube and and put in the perfect storm and find those videos. I think you'll be amazed and you will have more fuel for your prayers. And if, um, if it doesn't do that for you, at least you, it'll open your eyes maybe. Um, I did just want to uh, encourage you again to do some personal study about what the Bible really says about various topics. Um, you know, on the last Sunday of 2019, as I was driving to New Beginnings about 7 o'clock on Sunday morning, the Holy Spirit just filled up my vehicle uh, and began to impress me that we as a body needed to do a real study on what the Bible really says about various topics. I'm not going to go into all of those topics right now, but I want to encourage you to, to study and really see what the Bible says about marriage and what the Bible really says about homosexuality and what the Bible really says about shedding innocent blood and what the Bible really says about uh, loving one another and not confusing that with this cultural tolerance that says anything goes. I would also encourage you to uh, do a search and do a study on on heaven and on hell and, and not just Embrace everything that is out there. Get in the Word and study it for yourself. And it will definitely fuel your prayer life as well as your faith life. See, see, a lot of times we think faith is just for getting a job or having food on our table or getting a promotion or staying healthy. But look, there's there, faith. Faith, where the rubber meets the road, is in all of these cultural norms and issues that we must be light and we must be salt. So I'm going to just stop with that. I, I hope we can look at a biblical worldview later on and really open some things up. But I wanted to get this out to you. I hope that, you know, I will see some of you on Sunday morning at 10. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to that time together. We're, you know, we, we're not performers. We're not the professional Christians. We, we are just people that love God and love each other. Talk to you later.